Hello, welcome back to our channel and thank you for watching. So today we are doing a video about the cost of living here in Da Nang for two, for both of us. We are now at the beach in Da Nang. So instead of showing us, we are going to show you a better beautiful scenery of the ocean. So this is the raining season here in Da Nang and it was raining for the past couple days. Today is better, it's not raining. However, it's still uh, very cloudy, the sky is not clear. Um, so let's start about the video of the cost of living in Da Nang, Vietnam for two, for both of us. So let's start with the first and the biggest item, which is rent. If you have not watched our uh, previous video about apartments, please watch it so you can understand the value that we pay for and what is it like uh, for an apartment here in Da Nang with the value. So we pay six twenty US dollar per month, and please keep in mind all the costs that I'm going to list here are all in US dollar. So for this current month of December of this year, 2022, one US dollar is um, is approximately about 25,000 Vietnamese dong. Okay, so um, for the monthly rent here is 620, actually it is a discount rate. Uh, the contract of leasing apartment here in our building, the minimum requirement is six month uh, duration. However, we signed the contract for one year and for that reason we got the discount. So original the monthly rent for six month contract is 640. Uh, since we signed for one year contract, we got twenty dollar off per month, so it's six twenty. So we pay six twenty instead of six forty per month. And the I did not mention the process uh, of signing a contract, apartment contract here in Da Nang. It is very simple. All you have to do is uh, to show either a, a visa or a Vietnamese passport, and then you are able to pay for one monthly deposit, and then the monthly rent, and that's all they require. Uh, for us here, the requirement is one monthly deposit and three months of payment. So instead of uh, one month, they require that we pay three months in advance. Normally, in Da Nang here, um, or in Vietnam in general, they require one month deposit and two months of payment. If, you, if your contract is six months or longer, uh, but for us, it's a little bit longer. They ask us to pay three months in advance, or once every three months on top of the one month deposit, okay? And also that, um, the rent is not the same for every tenant here. The rent is um, determined by the owners. So when we first uh, take a look here uh, in this building, we did look at three apartments, and the other two apartments are lower at a lower level of uh, of the building, and one was 600 US dollar and one was 700 US dollar. And I did ask why the price is different even though it's lower level and the person showed us the apartments and say that it was the, the rent uh, was is determined by the owners. So uh, that's the reason why the rent is different uh, for uh, a different unit, and it depends on who owns the, the unit. Um, so our owner here, just at original price is 640 for a six month uh, lease contract. And for, I see that the price range here for two bedrooms, apartment units, it range from 600 to 700 uh, US dollar per month. And we pay six, 
twenty per month with the discount. Uh, without the discount, it's six forty. Okay. And the next item I'm going to talk about, which is internet and TV cable. And the reason I'm talking about internet and TV cable because the rent and the internet uh, and TV cable we paid to the landlord together. So our monthly internet and TV cable here is 12 US dollar per month. The internet here is relatively fast, okay? And the TV cable here only includes a one uh, cable box in the living room. So we have two additional TV cable jack in, uh, in each bedroom. However, does not have the TV or the TV is not included in the bedroom. So they only have one um, TV cable box in the living room. We did purchase the additional TV for our bedroom, uh, but we only use that uh, TV to watching like uh, uh, YouTube or Netflix or things that require internet, but not on the, you know, not through the TV cable. And the TV cable that we have here, it does have 180 uh, channels. Uh, most are usually uh, Vietnamese channels. There are a few American channels, uh, for example, CNN, TLC, um, Animal Channel, Discovery Channel. In the future, I might do a video uh, about watching the news and entertainment here in Vietnam. Okay, so once again, the rent is six twenty a month and the internet and TV cable at $12 a month. So together it's six, uh, 32 per month uh, for both rent and internet and TV cable that paid directly to the landlord and we pay those three months installment, once every three months, okay? So the next item I'm going to talk about is utility that include water and electricity. So for the month of October, our utility bill was 20 US dollar. And the month of November, it was 16 US dollar. Uh, and the reason, so it was a little bit higher in October because we did use uh, one week of AC when we first arrived. When we first arrived, uh, temperature, I think it was in the high 80s Fahrenheit. And it was a little bit warm and humid for us, and we did use the whole week of AC. And after that, we get used to with the warm weather, and the weather is getting a little bit better. We opened the window, so we did not, we have not used the AC since then. We did use the fans a couple of days um, in uh, November. So the $20 uh, utility bill in, uh, in October, that includes two dollars of water bill and eighteen dollars for electricity. For November, uh, sixteen dollars total, so two dollars for water and fourteen dollars for electricity. But in the future, we expect that the utility bills probably triple, especially during the summer month, uh, where we will probably use AC every single day. Um, so probably if average out for utility per month, I would say 40 US dollar per month, okay? And also that the first two months, October and November, we did not use uh, the washer and dryer. We used the laundry service. Uh, we have a lady come here every Monday to pick up our laundry and drive up the same day and it cost us like five US dollar per week, so about $20 per month. However, uh, this month, December, we start using the washer and dryer again. And it's getting better, it's much better now. I think the first time we put too much clothes in there, so it took like five hours or longer to wash and dry them. Now we put less, uh, we wash them weekly now, and we put less, and it take about three hours, and it come out great no wrinkle and it's nice and crips and wonderful. So I think we continue to use our wash and dry now. But we also expect the utility bill probably go up too. So we have not received the utility bill for December yet, but we expect probably $25 or more. Um, so but I'll average out 
utility bill for us a month here in Da Nang here, probably 40 US dollar a month. All right, so the next item I'm talking about is motorcycle parking, okay? So the motorcycle parking here is six US dollar per month. And the reason I'm talking about a motorcycle parking and utility uh, bill, because those we pay directly to uh, the receptionist uh, of the building. They locate on the first floor. The receptionist, they do handle all the water and electrical uh, meter reader readings. So they have those bills on each unit. So we they show up the meters and everything like that, how much we use and what the cost and we pay them directly. So the motorcycle parking six US dollar per month and utility average about forty dollars and we pay monthly to the receptionist at um, at the on the first floor. All right. And for the motorcycle insurance here it's very, very cheap. It's range from three US dollar to eighteen US dollar um per year, not per month. And it depends on the coverage that you have, whether you want just one way uh, liability only, or you want two ways comprehensive uh, that cover your motorcycle and also for the, the other party. So we choose the most uh, comprehensive one, which is 18, uh, U.S. dollar per year, so it's about one dollar fifty cent per month for the motor insurance here. In the future, I'm probably going to talk more detail another different video about uh, how to purchase uh, insurance here, a motor insurance here uh, in Vietnam. And the gas that we use here for the motorcycle is about four to five dollars U.S. dollar per month. Uh, we have the Yamaha Grande 2023, and it is known as the best efficient gas or gas efficient motorcycle here in Vietnam at the moment. Um, I think it's one liter, and it could drive up to 169 kilometers. And we usually uh, just pay the whole full tank of gas of four liters, and um, it lasts for the whole month. So I'll just say $4.50 per month for gasoline for our motorcycle per month, okay? And the next item, uh, since we're talking about motorcycle uh, insurance, uh, now I'm gonna talk about uh, medical or health insurance here for both of us. Our health insurance, we pay 107 US dollar per month. Again, 100 and seven US dollar per month for both of us. And if we break down um, individually, it costs about 40 US dollar per month for myself and about 67 US dollar for Phil. And the difference is because of the age. Uh, Phil is 10 years older than me and depends on the age bracket and that's determined the premium. In the future, I will do a very detailed uh, video about um, health insurance here in Vietnam also, okay? Uh, so with the health insurance that we pay, uh, the package that we pay is 100 US, 107 US dollar per month for both of us. That will cover all the countries in Southeast Asia. That's including um, Thailand and Singapore. Phil did state that if it is good for Singaporean, and then it is good for me. <laughs> so once again, in the future, I will make a, a detailed video about health insurance here in Vietnam. All right, and the next item is food cost, okay? So before I talk about the food cost, I want to mention one thing. So for the past four years, when I've been living in the U.S., I followed the intermittent intermittent fasting uh, diet, 16 lash eight. So what does it mean is that I fast for 16 hours and I only eat uh, meals during that eight hours period duration. 
So what does it mean or how does it work? So normally I usually eat lunch at noon time and then eat dinner at 7. And I stop eating dinner after 8 p.m. and then I don't eat until the next day at 12 or at noon. So I only eat usually between noon and 7 p.m. per day during the day. And I use it lunch and dinner. However, you could eat, you know, multiple small meals uh, during the eight hours period. Sometimes we do have happy hour. Sometimes we snack between uh, lunch and um, dinner. Phil and I, we are both not a breakfast person, so it's okay or it's, it's not that hard for us not to eat breakfast. Usually we just drink coffee in the morning and that is it. So the food here is just mainly, co uh, the cost it mainly is about the lunch, the dinner, and the snack or the happy hour, okay? So the average meal here uh, for eating out for per person, uh, for us, it costs about two U.S. dollar per meal. It's normally range between a dollar to three dollars, but usually average about a dollar fifty uh, to two dollar per meal. Um, so, f for us here, um, for lunch, a four dollar for both of us, and dinner for f uh, also four dollar for both of us. So that's eight dollars. However, sometimes we eat snack or happy hours, another couple dollars for us also uh, per day. So an average is ten dollars per day for food for both of us. That's include lunch, dinner, and the happy hours. And um, even though we eat like half at home, cooking at home and have eating outside. Even though cooking at home, it, li it costs a little bit less, but usually I purchase more uh, items, like more fruit and more dessert and things like that. So it's average out about $10 for food costs for both of us per day, uh, whether eating out or cooking at home, okay? Um, however, and also once a week, we eat out to a fancy or higher end restaurant. And normally it costs about 10 US dollar to 20 US dollar per person. Okay, uh, so in the future I will do a lot of videos about um, eating out, about the food here, so you can see the value and also what kind of food they have here in Vietnam. Uh, so for the whole month uh, of four days eating out, uh, just say I picked the highest range, which is. Uh, uh, 20 US dollar per person for us. Uh, so $40 per person uh, for both of us uh, for one weekend. And for four weekends, it's $160. And $260 for the other 26 day, that 10 US dollar per day. So our total food cost here is uh, 420 US dollars per month. Okay. And also at home, we do use the bottled waters. We purchase the, the expensive one, the two US dollar for five gallons. And we usually um, use that five bottle of gallons per 10 days. So the whole month we spend about six US dollars for that three, five gallons bottle per month. Okay, and coffee is very, very cheap also. Uh, we drink coffee, we use the instant package. Uh, we purchase the whole big package that contains uh, 30 little individual package. Um, that's, they call three uh, in one. So it has coffee, cream, and sugar in the whole package. It's an instant coffee, and we bought the whole package of 30 little individual packets is the dollar fifty cent. And we use about two big packages like that. So our coffee cost per month for both of us is about three US dollar. Okay. And the next item is haircut. Um, we uh, spend about five dollar per haircut 
per person for both of us per month. Uh, so about ten dollar per haircut uh, per month for both of us. Uh, the haircut here is very very inexpensive. It could range from two U.S. dollar or even a one dollar up until ten dollars. And of ten dollars, that include massaging and everything else. Uh, is is uh, including a lot of services uh, for the ten dollars. We just had the haircut last week, about six U.S. dollar per person, and we did make the video. I did record it, so in the future I will show you our haircut experience here, uh, here in Da Nang, Vietnam. So once again, our haircut here is ten dollars per month for both of us. And the next item is. Uh, a movie. We see movie about once a month, American movie of course, and in the future I will uh, show you a video about our experience of watching movie here in Da Nang, Vietnam. And a movie here about 10 US dollar per month that we spend for both of us. That include uh, two tickets and also popcorn and drink. About 10 US dollar per month. Okay, and the last items I want to talk about is just miscellaneous. We spend about 10 US dollar per month. The miscellaneous items here that's mainly it is for the house include toiletries like shampoo, toilet paper, napkins, my facial cream, the poopery, air freshener, things like that. So we spend about 10 US dollar per month. So overall, uh, our total expense uh, here in the U.S. for both of us is about twelve hundred and fifty U.S. dollar per month. Okay, once again, it twelve hundred fifty U.S. dollar per month for both of us here in Da Nang. Okay, and please keep in mind this. Uh, the cost of living here is very subjective. This only applies to us. I have seen people spend less or more, and I have seen the uh, people spend less on rent and more on food. Um, uh, not more on food, but they spend more money on going out and drinking and things like that. Uh, Phil and I, we both do not drink. Um, we drink socially when we go to a high-end uh, dining on the weekend, about 20 US dollar per person. That usually include one or two drink uh, in that 20 US dollar price, okay? Um, but once again, I will show you in the future our food video uh, that will show you what kind of food and the price uh, in the future, okay? So please stay tuned. And please subscribe if you want to watch those videos in the future. And also don't forget to click the notification bells for our future videos. All right. So I hope I do not miss anything here uh, for the cost of living here in Da Nang. Also, we had, you know, a budget for traveling too. But I will not include in here. Uh, though just, you know, we do it like once or twice a year. Uh, that's, you know... Those are not uh, basic cost of living in Da Nang here. Um, so um, in the future, I also do a video about our traveling, you know, to different parts of Vietnam and also outside Vietnam also. All right, I hope I do not miss anything else. Uh, if I do, I might just make it up another video uh, to show. But I cannot think of anything else at this moment. Uh, so thank you again for watching and we will see you at our next video thank you take care see you our next video thank you again for watching bye bye for now